I'm back. So this video is the continuation to my part 1 video. If you haven't checked out the part 1, please do check out part 1 before you continue on with part 2. Without further ado, let's continue. Number 6, UCSI. Before I continue, I just like to say they have the best and most user-friendly website of all. I don't have to search up 5 to 6 web pages just to look for their fees. Instead, when I go to their website, everything is stated there. It's really convenient and good job to you, UCSI. Like. So based on their website, according to 2019 QS World Uni Ranking, UCSI is Malaysia's best private uni and for their intakes are usually in so for medicine, it is stated that you will spend two years in KL campus and the remaining of your clinical phase will be As for the requirements, A-levels would be BBB, AAC or ABC. However, for the C must be either maths or physics. As for their English requirements, Malaysians can use their SPM results with a minimum grade of B for English. And as for international students, it would be an overall of 6 for IELTS. As for the fees, for Malaysian students, it will cost around 351-310k ringgit Malaysia. And for international students, it will cost 429-500k ringgit Malaysia for the whole course. Also, UCSI offers scholarships where they call it the UCSI Trust Scholarship and many more but I won't be going into too detail. So if you want to know more, do check it out from their website. Next is University Malaysia Sabah. Oh my god, for this university website, it's the most confusing website of all. So I'll just talk about whatever that I was able to find. So basically for UMS School of Medicine, they are unique in the way that they offer a university family partnership. As part of its community wellness program, the intakes for medicine course offered in UMS are usually in June or September. And the school is located in KK, which is Kota Kinabalu. For their application, you will need a personal statement as well, which you don't normally see this from any other medical unis in Malaysia. Maybe it's more common in the UK, but usually in Malaysia, we don't need personal statement. Minimum requirements stated that. And for the fees, Okay, this was a really painful session. Moving on, USM, University Science Malaysia. For USM, it is also one of Malaysia's public university. And if I'm not mistaken, it is located in Kota Baru. For their intakes, it is usually in and they would require you to go for an interview as well. And for their minimum requirements, but for IELTS, it should be an overall band and your high school certificate or equivalent with minimum entry requirement of So for the fees, local students cost 1,600 ringgit Malaysia per semester and there is a minimum of 8 semesters so you do the maths and for international students, it costs 137,500k USD for the whole course <sighs> Two more, let's go! Number 9, Taylor's Lakeside Campus. It's pretty direct, it's Lakeside Campus. So obviously they have a lake in their campus. They also have their own shopping plaza, I guess, which makes it kind of cool. The whole campus is located in the city area, so if you are more of a city person, you might want to consider that as well. So for their medicine intakes, it is usually in January, March or August. And with a special semester, it I'm not sure why they have so many intakes, but according to one of my friends who is currently studying there, their intakes are not as big as those in IMU where we have 200 students per intake. So for their minimum requirements, it is a BBB, ABC or AAC for A-levels and with a minimum grade of B in the 5 core science subject in SPM. As for English requirements, it is also a band 6 overall for IELTS. Interview is required as usual. For the fees, local students cost 395-610k ringgit Malaysia and for international students, it costs 106-695k USD in total for the whole course. Taylor's also offers 100% scholarship as well. You can check out more in their website. Last one, PMC, Penang Medical College. 
I actually considered this college before because it is the opposite of IMU, where IMU offers you to go overseas during your clinical years. PMC offers you an opportunity to go to Ireland for your preclinical years. Please bear in mind that it's preclinical, so by the end of your degree, your degree certificate will be from PMC and not from RCSI or University College of Dublin. For PMC's minimum requirement are ABB for A levels and and a 6.5 overall for IELTS. For their fees, local student will cost around 614 490 k ringgit Malaysia as well as international students will cost 744-900k ringgit Malaysia in total. Good news is that scholarships are also available as well. Finally, we've come to the end of the video and wow, that was by far the longest video I made so far. So I hope I was able to help some of you guys out there one way or another. If you find my video helpful or useful, do drop me a like. And if you would like to see more of me, please do hit the subscribe button. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.